Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime scene cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. Hey guys, Steve Wolf here at a house that we actually purchased that was a hoarding house that the uh, homeowner was here to uh, get their loved one out of the house and decided that due to the state of the house they wanted to actually give the house to us so we ended up purchasing it and I say give but we purchased the house and right now we're doing a clean a clean out so that we can do our restoration work so that we can flip the house and make it a, a new scene what I would love you to do is come along with us see the the cleaning process so that we can walk you through what we do to bring the house back to life so it's livable again so that we can put a new tenant inside situation but uh one thing about spawning we get the job done so that's what we're doing and in another situation we're gonna get it right um we're gonna quarantine the scene and try to clean this place up but as you guys see it's a level five it's a heck of a mess but we're gonna get it done We are making a little progress. Um, as you guys know, this was a real in-depth situation that we have to address. And so we're, we're working with, it's a slow progress, but it's, it's a progress. We're making progress, but we're just chipping away inch by inch till we get to the house till the whole thing gets done. So the key is what? Is you can't it, it comes from the from your nose. These could be, I think these are prescription glasses. I'm gonna put this with the stuff. Yeah. You know, like you said. At the end of the day, this is what it turns into. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. I was about to say, but oh all, the, God, all these little pieces in this of corner paper. Now. I don't know, I'm trying to figure it out. Ooh, that looks good. Is that open? So when like, you go to the chiropractor, mm -hmm. they put these little electrodes on your back, mm -hmm. on your shoulder, and you hook it to the machine and it sends a little electricity pulses and massages the muscle. Today's video is sponsored by Keen. Keen is the world's largest network of psychics. They reached out to me and offered me a free reading. 
To be honest, I was a little skeptical at first, but I decided there's no reason not to give it a try. After sitting with one of their readers, they were able to answer all of my questions. I asked the reader about my grandmother who passed away unexpectedly. I was so worried about her and I just wanted to know if she was okay. My reader was able to tell me her name and how she passed. It was comforting to know that she's in a better place. Since then, I can sleep soundly knowing she is at peace. Head on over to trykeen.com slash crime scene cleaning to get a 10 minute reading for only $199. That's up to $99 in savings or click the link in our bio. All right, the progress is coming along pretty good. Um, you know, as you guys know, once we, we, we got here, you couldn't even open the door because it was so compact with trash. And so, you know, like a chisel, we've just chiseled our way through. Um, we got the living room uh, for the most part secured. And so we're just moving on back to the to, to the remainder of the house and we're just gonna knock this out today. Ooh. And this is just from the entryway. Yeah. And that's not even all of it. Yeah, I know. Fortunately, we found a, a, a cat part. cat died. And I'm pretty sure it was just a slow, painful death. Sorry for the cat and those cat lovers, but you know, you know, we would we would like for some people to call and, and, and they got the cat taken care of, but we don't know the circumstances, so uh, it's a sad reality. But so we're gonna take the cat and, and dispose of him. All right, and so yeah, we can dispose uh, animals like they're regular trash, and so that's what we're gonna do right now. You get the cat, man. Uh uh. Well, I pull that whole m up, boy. Oh, I'm gonna sling at somebody. Babe, do you want the shovel? Let me see. That's a lot of cat poop. Hey everybody, um, this townhouse is a uh, two story, two bedroom, two and a half bath, and uh, it's a hoard, obviously, and I have purchased this property, so the burden of cleaning it out is on me. I mean, a two bedroom, two and a half bath sounds small, but when you have this amount of items, it's brutal. It really is. It's just, it's a lot of work. Um, luckily, she doesn't want to save much, so uh, the majority of it will be disposed of or whatever can be recycled will recycle. This is a level five because you can't walk in it. It's got bugs everywhere. Um, mold. I mean, she just gave up. I don't know how long ago, but she gave up. There we go. Mm -hmm. Put the rest of the fridge, huh? Yeah. Okay. Well, look at the eggs. Show them the drawer, the inside. Oh, look at all those eggs. Oh, that's a good one. Okay. This is how you do not live. 
Yeah. This is what you do not want in your house. Yeah. At any time. It's like a antique. Um, I don't know why, but it's desirable. So I think there's a little bit we can donate in this place because there's a lot of like cat food and cat litter. So I can donate that to the Humane Society. Um, and then canned food, I can donate to the um, homeless shelters. So, but unfortunately, it looks like she just never threw anything away for whatever reason. Sleeper sofas are the devil and they are so heavy. Hang on, hang on. I'm five five. I can't remember. I can't do that. Take all of five five. You're taller than me. You're really good. Hold on. So as I was cleaning all this stuff up and I'm finding, you know, old monitors and floppy disks and stuff, I was thinking, you guys can comment below and see if what you think it's a good idea or not. But what about if we created at our office a museum of hordes where we just collected maybe the rare items or the weird items that we find and uh, kind of keep it in our office in, I don't know, some type of display or something just to kind of show the crazy stuff that we come across. I don't know, what do you guys think? Uh, that is Robert Redford in his sexy days. <laughs> This is what we used to watch. Yeah. And then when our parents were kids, they used to watch black and white. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna cut it so I can access the plumbing and make sure it's not still leaking because the whole bottom of the vanity caved in. So this has been a leak that's been going on for a long time and she didn't even notice it because she has so much there. Quality furniture, made in America.
bag is on fire. one, two, four of us uh, cleaning this out. And uh, for such a small place, it was a lot, a lot of stuff. We filled up a 40 yard dumpster. We filled up my 28 yard dumpster. And then we filled up two eight yard dumpsters just in one day today. So um, there's a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff here. So um, I haven't even thought about the design yet on this place. I, I can't even focus right now until we get this done. So. Um, I will uh, think about that and over the next few days, write it out and then start getting some uh, quotes on the rehab. So stay tuned for that. Hey guys, welcome to my newest renovation. This townhouse behind me was an extreme hoard where we actually found the owner's cat deceased inside under a bunch of stuff. So this is a two bedroom, two and a half bath that was really just stuck in the 80s. Uh, so we're doing a lot of renovation here to kind of modernize it and bring it to what 2022 is. And uh, we will put a long-term tenant in here. So let me show you around. One of the biggest things here that really dates the unit is the popcorn ceiling. So as you can see, we've already started trashing that down, smoothing it out. We'll put a nice, more modern texture on the ceiling so that it's uh, ready to go. Now, this fireplace behind me was super outdated, like white tiles and stuff like that. So we're gonna put some really cool stone on it to modernize it. And uh, we'll hang a TV up there for the uh, future tenant. This bathroom right here is the half bath downstairs and it is covered in mold. So there was clearly a leak that was going on for a really long time that uh, the prior owner just wasn't aware of. So we're gonna replace all of that drywall plumbing and then put everything brand new back in. We're gonna take LVP, which is luxury vinyl plank, and we're gonna take it throughout the entire place, including the staircase. So this kitchen really bothered me for more ways than one. 
But one of the biggest things was the ceiling was hanging really low. It was lower than the rest of the house. So I knew that we could elevate it up to make it consistent. We do have one area right here, kind of a soffit type area that we can encase and just make it look a little more modern. So we're gonna put quartz countertops here, all new cabinets and uh, appliances, obviously stainless steel, paint this a more modern color. The only thing that we're really keeping in this house that is in stellar condition is the AC. The AC surprisingly was uh, pretty new and it's a very expensive brand. So we're gonna keep that. That is one, one cost savings that we'll have here. Yeah, it's almost done. Yeah, we're almost Just done. this, right? Just this and that's it. Wow, nice, nice job. job. Yeah. Very nice. Let's look at this nasty ass bathroom. Oh, it's gone already. Wow. Yeah. Look at this. Now I'm standing in the, what I'm calling the master bathroom bedroom. This bathtub was really, really bad uh, beyond any salvaging. Uh, so we've gutted it, as you can see, and this bathroom will be redone as well. But what I've decided to do with you here is instead of replacing the tub, we're actually going to make a stand-up shower. No tub at all. So I've got some really cool tiles, some pebble floor that we're gonna put in here, and some updated lighting to get rid of 1975 over here. And uh, you know, with the new grab bars and all this stuff, and even the light switch panels here, are the really old, like beige ones that we used to use when I was a kid. All that stuff will be traded out for white, bright white, so it'll make everything look awesome. This is bedroom two, and if you remember, this used to be the home office. It was extremely hoarded. It took me, by myself, almost a day to clean this out completely. So this is gonna be a really cool bedroom, and I'm gonna utilize the height of the ceiling to kind of make it uh, feel bigger than what it really is. Um, you've got a closet here and an own private bathroom, which is awesome, because essentially that means that you have two masters because the bathrooms are attached to both. So I'm looking forward to really designing this room. We got some new porcelain tile. Uh, oh wow, me gusta. This is nice stuff. Porcelain tile for the bathroom. Um, it's got some, some veins in it and stuff, so it looks very, very nice. So these are the, the floors that I went with. Um, I thought they were gonna come out a little more brown, but they're kind of a combo between brown and gray. Uh, but I think they favor the gray a little more. So the reason that I went with these was a couple reasons. One, it has the waterproof uh, top to it, but also if you can see here, it has a silence barrier. So uh, if kids are playing around upstairs, you're not gonna be able to hear it here. And also Shaw Floors is a really good brand. So. Um, I typically get my stuff from Floor & Decor. Uh, they're putting in the floors today, which is awesome. Uh, there is a couple things that, uh, some shoddy work that I'm not happy about, so I'm gonna get them to redo, uh, and I'll show you what that is. So it's weird because the painting was already done, but yet you have still holes in the drywall. So um, that stuff should have been fixed prior to painting. And then we still have the mold here in the, uh, in the bathroom where this leak is. So this is a substantial amount of mold. That should have been cut out already. Uh, and also the, the mirror should have been cut out. So um, it's just, it seems like some of the work is being done in the wrong order. So this has got to go uh, right away. But uh, the upstairs looks good. Let's go over to the kitchen. So in the kitchen here, I decided to lift up the ceiling. It was that old kind of 70s style ceiling that was dropped. So we lifted it up, but they did a really crappy job on the taping. So I'm gonna make them redo that because it just looks terrible. You should not be able to see tape. Uh, and they've already textured it, they've already painted it. So that's gonna have to be redone completely. But the kitchen's been gutted. The floors will go in today and then we should be able to start with uh, kitchen cabinets and then countertops next week.
Hey guys, I wanted to go over the final rehab cost with you. The purchase price of this townhome was just $125,000 and the rehab was $31,000. My holding costs were only $750. The property was appraised at $240,000 and we got tenants in there in under 72 hours at $1,900 a month. All in all, I'm so happy to turn this place around. I'll be keeping this townhome in my rental portfolio. Thanks for watching. For more information, visit any of our locations.